Hi, my name is Jamie. And I'm Caleb. We're from Amarillo Pediatric Dentistry and Orthodontics. And we're here at the Discovery Center because we love to learn about new and exciting things. We wanted to let you know that at APDO, we offer the highest quality of dental care and orthodontics for all of our patients. We offer same-day appointments, and we wanted to let you guys know that we hope to see you again soon. And now it's time to learn some incredible new things with Coffee and Cuties. Hello friends and welcome to March's Virtual Coffee and Cuties. This month's theme is space exploration. So we are going to be reading a book about a very cool astronaut and we are going to be meeting one of our friends here at the Discovery Center. So let's start with our book first. Today we are going to be reading May Among the Stars and it's written by Rhoda Ahmed and illustrated by Stasia Burrington. <clears throat> Little May was a dreamer. They say that daydreamers never succeed, but Little May was different. One day, May was working on an assignment for school about what she wanted to be when she grew up. What will you tell them, May? I will tell them I want to see Earth. This is Earth, May, her mother said. The flowers, the grass, the forest, and the mountains. We live on Earth. I know, but I want to see Earth from out there. That's an amazing plan, little May. Then you have to become an astronaut. That way, you can see Earth from space. Astronaut? Do you think I could do that? Of course you can. If you can dream it, if you believe it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. May asked her mom to take her to the library. She, she searched for books about space and astronauts. After dinner, May drew pictures of space and she even made her own astronaut costume out of old orange curtains and cardboard boxes. See her spaceship? Later, she asked her dad, but how do I become an astronaut? It seems impossible. You will find your way, May, because if you dream it, believe in it, and work hard for it, anything is possible. But space is so, so, so far away. It's closer than you think, little May, and you may get there sooner than you think. That night, May had a happy dream. She was dancing in space, surrounded by billions of sparkling stars. Below her, she could see Earth floating and turning like a shining crystal ball. What a lovely dream. The next morning, May told her parents about her dream. She wanted to tell everyone, and every time she talked about it, her eyes would light up. In the classroom, Miss Bell told everyone to stand in a line on the rug. Today, we are all going to share our dreams about the future. What do you want to be and what do you want what do you want to do when you grow up? Who wants to go first? I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a teacher football player. I want to be a mom. I want to go to space. I want to be an astronaut. All the kids started laughing. Miss Bell asked, May, are you sure you don't want to be a nurse? Nursing would be a good profession for someone like you. I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an astronaut.
Hmm. May felt di very disappointed. On her way home from school, May was quiet. She looked out the car window. Her world turned blue and cold. Nothing was the way it used to be. Poor May. At home, May started crying. Miss Bell said I can't become an astronaut. What a silly thing to say, said her mother. She told me I should be a nurse instead, said May. Her mom wiped away her tears. My dear May, I hope you didn't believe her. Of course I believed her. She's my teacher. I'm sorry Miss Bell didn't encourage you, but she can't stop you. No one can stop you. Follow your dream, May, and go to space. Thank you, Mom. I promise when I get to space, I will wave to you and Dad from the spaceship. Her mom took her hand and they started dancing. You must always repeat to yourself, if I can dream it, if I can believe in it, and if I work hard for it, anything is possible. May went on dreaming, believing, and working really hard. And guess what? She went to space and waved to her mom and dad on Earth. And that is the end of the story. Now there's something really cool about this story. So May in this book is actually based on a real person. Her name is May Jemison, and she is an actual astronaut who went to space. It's a pretty inspiring story, isn't it? Alrighty friends, now that we have finished reading our story about May Jemison, I'm going to introduce to you one of our friends here at the Discovery Center, but first I want to make sure that I keep her safe. So I'm going to use some hand sanitizer, make sure my hands are nice and clean, and let me introduce to you my friend May. Hey sweet girl. Oh sweet girl, hi. <laughs> So this is May. She is one of our Russian tortoises. We also have another Russian tortoise named Sally after Sally Ride. Now, oh, where are you going, Miss May? <laughs> so one really cool thing about Russian tortoises is actually they're one of the first creatures to go to space. In September of 1968, um, there was a space mission that sent two Russian tortoises, as well as some mealworms, some plants, um, all kinds of living critters to space. Um, they orbited the moon, they went around the moon, and they went back to Earth safely. So Russian tortoises, they are super cool. They, are, they live to about 40 years old, so they live for quite a long time. Um, in fact, the oldest tortoises can live up to 100 years, even more. Miss May is a very adventurous gal. <laughs> um, they are from parts of Central Asia. Um, they live in pretty arid climates. Oh my goodness. And they are herbivores. So they eat things like fruits and vegetables. Now. Oh my goodness, May. <laughs> she wants to go everywhere. Her, her favorite fruits, they love berries. <laughs> now, did you, do you know how to tell apart a turtle from a tortoise? Now tortoises, they generally live on land. They cannot swim very well, whereas Turtles, some turtles can swim very well. Um, it also has to do with their diet. Now, other than, of course, our tortoises and our mealworms, several other animals have been to space as well, um, such as Laika the dog, um, which is a pretty sad tale. Um, 
There also have been monkeys sent to space. Um, there are also spiders. So it's really cool. A really cool thing about spiders in space is that they're, the way that they spin their webs, their patterns are actually different than the spiders that spin webs on Earth, which is very interesting. It probably has to do with the lack of gravity. <laughs> May is going on her adventures. Um, it probably has to do with the lack of gravity because unlike on Earth, we're not flat on the ground, we're kind of floating. Alrighty, friends, that's all I have for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little session with me, um, and I hope to see you all next month. Be sure to check our social media pages for more information on our upcoming events. Um, and again, thank you for APDO to, for sponsoring us, and I will see you soon. Bye.